Verse 27. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents. And so now they're getting into the life of Jacob and Esau to describe a little bit about their character and nature, uh, about their physical aspect, what they did for a living, uh, their uh, work ethics, who they, what they did. Esau was a, a hunter, and so he was out hunting game, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. So uh, Jacob, he wasn't no outdoors man. <laughs> he was an indoor man. He like, I ain't getting out there. <laughs> Verse 28, and Isaac loved Jacob, but he did, because he did eat his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. So the parents took sides. <laughs> Isaac loved Esau because he ate Esau's food. Esau could throw down. He could cook. <laughs> He's like, man, I want my, my son's venison. So he loved, Isaac loved Esau. Esau was his favorite. But Rebecca, she loved Jacob. Now, Rebecca, I don't know if she told uh, Ish, Isaac about what the Lord told her. I'm sure she did. But she had a reason for loving Jacob because the, the Lord told her what was going to happen. He said, the younger is going, the elder is going to serve the younger. And she was a part of making sure that happened. <laughs> Thought she had to help out the Lord, and we're going to see that in a little bit, not, not in this chapter, but in the following chapter. But you got to understand that it's about God's chosen people. It's about prophecy. All the prophecies in the scriptures will come to, will come to pass, will be fulfilled, all of them. 